disaster management in the country has been disastrous, leading to loss of lives that could have been saved. Mm. Parliament is expected to deliberate on two bills that seek to establish a disaster management authority to respond to emergencies in a seamless and coordinated manner. Francis Gashuri has details. From Jomo Kenyatta International Airport in Fano to the Huruma building collapse, the Westgate terror attack to the Garissa University siege, and currently the raging floods that have wreaked havoc in many parts of the country, claiming lives and uprooting thousands of people. Horrendous response to these disasters has been the common denominator. Management of disaster response in this country has been the disaster. The resources we've, we've put to disaster management have been very little. And uh, I mean, if you find vehicles coming, fire engines, uh, without water, and they're coming to respond to, to a disaster of you know, the nature of a fire. And so you wonder what are they coming to do? Are they coming to also watch uh, the fire? It is actually a disaster. And a disaster because we have failed in the past to plan for it and uh, have a coordinated approach on how to handle disasters. Two bills have been crafted to streamline disaster management and coordinate response to distress calls. The National Disaster Management Authority Bill 2017 is sponsored by Kikuyu Member of Parliament Kimani Shongwa, while the Disaster Risk Management Bill of 2018 is a brainchild of Nairobi Senator Johnson Sakaja and his Makueni counterpart Mutula Kilonzo Jr. The two Bill seek to establish a disaster management authority that will be headed by a director general under the supervision of a board. The authority will be tasked with coordinating and controlling responses to disaster management, building capacity in crisis management, and establishing a command center for efficient response operations. What you're simply doing is that you're bringing all the players, Red Cross, we have proposed, AMREF, we have proposed the flying doctors, you're, you're putting them in one structure with one command unit that the minute there is a fire, we know who to call. The two bills that are likely to be merged for ease in passage by the two chambers of parliament also seek to coordinate various agencies involved in disaster management to ensure seamless response to emergencies whenever they strike. Public awareness on disaster preparedness and early warning disaster monitoring will be at the heart of the proposed authority's mandate. Should the bills become low, the authority will take over functions of the Disaster Coordination Unit, an ad hoc team operating from the Ministry of Interior Affairs, whose previous handling of disasters has been hampered by tough wars between police, military, county governments, among other government agencies. But there's no other framework where this will meet. So the, the only meeting, remember Westgate, that's where you find the meeting, at Kijiji when the fire is happening, at Huruma. And when they are meeting, at the scene of the, you know, the, 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 the disaster, it is to argue, no, let my people, are the, my people are the ones with the capacity, wasting a lot of time where you could save lives. So this brings now that multi-agency, interagency approach. It is time we devolve disaster management. This is just a flood. It could have been worse, and you would have much worse human suffering. Billions of shillings allocated to disaster management have over the years been siphoned by a few well-connected government operatives. The two bills propose that funds be allocated to the Disaster Management Authority that will account to Parliament. Currently, the law allows county governments to allocate only 2% of their budgets to handling of emergencies and disasters. There is no contradiction in setting aside 15 billion shillings every year for disaster as emergency and you ring fence the money as per the counties. And once at any county level or any area in a county, a disaster, an emergency is available, the money is then channeled and available for use immediately. The operation center as it is today cannot attract any donor funding. Nobody will even donate an ambulance to an operation center that's uh, neither here nor there. But if we had a national disaster authority, management authority, we probably would even get people donating equipment and uh, other services, in, including getting to train people uh, on disaster preparedness and uh, disaster management in the country. The earliest the bills can be debated in Parliament is end of next month, which is largely dedicated to the budget-making process. The bills must be deliberated on by the two chambers of Parliament. Francis Gashuri, Citizen Live at 9.